What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to remove the Remember Me option from our WordPress login field and why you should do that, okay? But before anything, please like this video, share with a friend of yours and hit the subscribe button because I promise this content have a value and we bring daily videos. So we are here every day doing more and more tutorials so you can use the internet on your favor, save money and have a great website because this is our mission, okay? So let's go to the point. Do you know that when you go to your WordPress login page or when you go to your account page on WooCommerce, you have the remember me button. But did you know, <laughs> did you know what does this button do? If you click on it, the cookies of your browser will save your login information for two weeks, normally two or three weeks, depending on the browser, for example, but normally it's two weeks. And let's imagine that somebody access your website and log in and click into the remember me option into some public network. So some public Wi-Fi connection, a library connection, for example, or something like Starbucks connections. This can be a potential security risk. So that is the problem with this remember me button. If you do not select this button, normally the browser only store your information for 24 hours normally okay so after this time you're gonna be logged out automatically and you're gonna need to type your login information once again and this is exactly what we want right here okay because as i told having this can be a potential security risk because once it's a public network for example storage into a cookie into a browser from a net for a public network this can be easily the, the information can be easily fulfilled, the information can be easily stolen, for example. And this is a problem, okay? So we want to remove this button from the most critical pages of our website for a security, okay? How to do this? We can do this for free in a simple and yet effective way, okay? So how to do? First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard, log in, right? and go to plugins, okay? Navigate to plugins and click on add new. Once on add new button, we're gonna type into the search field. So once on the search field, we're gonna type remember me controls, okay? Or just type remember me and you're gonna be able to find this plugin. Here is the guide that we are looking for, okay? Have the remember me check it by default on your or the login page and configure how long login is remember, okay? Or disable. This is the plugin. The plugin is not too updated, however, it's still working on WordPress.6 version. We did test, okay? And the plugin sees seems secure okay we didn't we wasn't able to find any security vulnerability on this plugin if you like this plugin i recommend that you write a review and ask for the developer to do um, an update because it's a great plugin if you are the developer okay scott i'm talking to you if you see this video know that everyone on visual mode loves your plugin okay congratulations on your work and especially for making it for free Click on install now button and after this, click on activate. At send as you activate the plugin by clicking to this activate button, okay? You're gonna be redirected to the WordPress plugins list, okay? On your WordPress dashboard. And right here, we're gonna be able to see the plugin on our list remember me controls we can deactivate and go to the settings let's go to the settings take control of the remember me login feature of your wordpress by customizing its behavior or disabling 
we can have the remember me check it automatically we do not want that however you have this option in the case that it fits your needs do this for you remember forever should user be remember forever if remember me is checked this is a quite big okay 100 years <laughs> but it's a quite bigger amount of time but note this uh, this is gonna only have effect on the subsequent logins okay the remember me duration the number of hours a login with remember me check it will list this is where we're gonna set for 24 hours but we can set for example for something like um, two hours for example or 20 hours that depends on your needs in my opinion i don't think that you need that much of time i think eight hours it's enough okay but it changes according on your needs and here is the option that we are looking for okay disable remember me feature if check it then the remember me checkbox will not appear on the login form and the login session will list no longer than 24 hours okay note a change of this value only affects the duration of existing login sessions on subsequent logins okay so we're gonna mark this option and click on save change change save it now let's review if the login is gone As you can see, if I move to my WordPress login page, there is no longer the button of the remember me. So the button now it's gone. Okay. In the case that you want the button back, just go back to the plugin settings into WordPress settings, remember me next to the privacy unmark this option save change and your button gonna be back okay this is how the plugin work let us review something together if the setting market let's check and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. I'm gonna be helping talk to you, okay? So feel free to write a comment. If you like this video, if this video brings you some value or you learn something new, please share this video with a friend of yours, like this video, do a comment and subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of work to bring this content, to study the content and it would help us a lot so YouTube can know this and share with more people and more people can learn how to do good things through their sites for free, okay? I'm gonna leave um, into the first comment of this video some useful links for, for example, a place when you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents or a place where you can download design assets for free and they update the design assets downloadable every week, okay? so. Review the links, they're gonna help you. And also to be updated, follow us on social media. We are at Visual Moro in every social media, okay? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and it is. In the case that you are in need of doing a great website on WordPress for free, go to WordPress.org and download our Enzo free WordPress team and download our Borderless WordPress plugin. They will help you a lot on your content creation site design and they are free okay in the case that you want to learn more go to visualmoto.com review our blog we have daily posts there as well for more and more tutorials so you can learn and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you later all the best